Hey, what's up, Healthy family? It's your boy Flip, and today we're back with the three must-have tools for every beginning DIY vapor. Number one, screwdriver or Allen key. You're gonna need a screwdriver or an Allen key because that's how you open up the posts on any vape. Most vapes take screwdrivers or Allen keys as a way to insert your coils. You gotta unscrew those screws, drop your coils in, screw them back in nice and tight. To do that, you're gonna need a screwdriver. Also, you can use these to straighten your coils out after you've installed them, if they've warped in any kind of way. In dire situations, you can use them to scrape the coils to get those hot spots out while you're heating them up. And that's why our number one tool, most importantly, is screwdrivers or Allen keys. Luckily, Health Vape actually includes these tools in your accessory bag with every product for these purposes. Which so brings us to number two, wire cutters. Uh, without wire cutters, you've got no way to clip the ends of your coils to make them the proper length. So you're going to need wire cutters. Scissors just won't do the trick. They're not strong enough. Also, in emergency situations, you can even use these to scrape your coils for hot spots or as scissors to cut your cotton. They don't work as good as scissors do, but if you can't find a pair of scissors or you're at a friend's house and you only have these on you, they'll do the trick. Which brings us to our third and final tool, tweezers. Tweezers are great because you can use the back of them to scrape your coil for hot spots. You can use the other side of them to pinch your coils together in case they've become spaced for any reason. And you can use these to scrape out your cotton at the end, making the ends nice and fluffy before you cut them with your wire cutters, right? Because we all use wire cutters to cut cotton. And you'll be using your tweezers to tuck your cotton in when you're done the build, making your build look just as perfect as ours does. We literally only use these three tools. You saw it the whole video and it came out perfectly fine. And that's our Dead Rabbit V2, just in case you're wondering. Available now. With these three tools, you can build your first RDA. You don't need anything else. If you have a pair of scissors, that'd be great too. Because obviously cutting cotton with wire cutters isn't the most ideal situation, but most of us have scissors around our house. And those are the three must-have tools any new DIY vapor should have. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We always enjoy making these for you, and we hope you join us next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's right over here. See you guys next time.